indeed. Here we go again. Let's jump in. again but wait let me just tell you these books were all free did not have to pay for any shipping Woohoo! thrift books i love you love you so much so when you do thrift books you you get like free book deals so like anything under five dollars you can get for free and you'll get the rewards. I'm not sure how that personally works, but let's just say I got them for free and I'm, I'm happy about it. So thank you Thriftbooks for not sponsoring this video, even though, hey, you should, even though this is my second video on yeah, Thriftbooks. But let me just say back when I first discovered Thriftbooks, I fell in love immediately. And I'm not really the one who reads, but now after thrift books and buying so many books, I'm like, yay, I like reading now. So thank you again. And with these books, I, I got one of them from thrift books, but I got these from like gifts or any other thrift store, but I wanted to include them in today's video. So let's just start opening. Well, let me start with these first actually. So, here I got for I Know the Plans. I do believe I got this at Ross. I got this at Ross, and let me just say, I love the cover, it's so cute. And on the back, it has a verse saying, Jeremiah 29, 11, and IV. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Remember that, kids. Remember. You have today's like morning and then you have night. So that's why I like it. Morning and evening devotional. Two in one. Next, I think this was a gift from my mom. She got it. I think this was from Amazon. But it's called A Young Woman's Walk with God growing more like Jesus, traveling with Jesus. And it's kind of like a devotional while like reading. So here's like what it looks like inside. And so you have like certain passage and then you get like a word from God's word about peace. And then once you're done reading the chapter, it goes into, what would you like to know more about peace, check it out. And then you have questions to answer. So this, this has been a really good help for me. I did this when I was a teenager, you know, technically I'm still, I am a teenager, but no, I adulted, Never mind. Okay. Next we have unblinded faith, gaining spiritual sight through believing God's word. Yes, by Elf, Alyssa, Holy, um, it's hard to read cursive, but unshakable hope, unblinded faith. Would you like to have the kind of faith that strengthens your soul? What if you could endure trials with a steady calm and make daily decisions with confidence in God's purpose? So I'm pretty sure this is another book like this, where you read the little chapter and then it goes into you read the verse they give you and then you respond and then you reflect on what it means to you i haven't actually done this book yet but i i'm going to i just if you've seen my last video i've been on a journey <laughs> okay next i got this in california at Surprisingly, Goodwill, it's called A Life of Worship. And 
It's a Women of Faith Study Guide series, which, <laughs> pretty cool, <laughs> don't you think? And it's by, forward by Sheila Walsh, and it says on the back, all of all God's creation, women are specially designed to give God glory, honor, and praise. And when women do what women were made to do, glorify our Heavenly Father, we are simply captivating. And why shouldn't we glorify God? After all, He has glorified us by marking us as His own. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, I was just like saying that. Thank you, Dad. Or thanks, Dad, Abba, Father. <sighs> Sometimes when I talk to God, I'm just like, so Dad, what do you want to do today? Oh, being in your word, that's a good one. That's a good start. And I'm like, do you wanna record some like some videos with me and be with me? See, I think he's like sitting in this chair. Which he's sitting in this chair, just so you know. Hi. Okay, anyways, where was I? Um Robbing Okay, so after all, he has glorified us by marking us as his own, robbing us in righteousness, veiling, veiling us in holiness, and adoring us with spiritual gifts. Isn't it time we glorified him? In this study, we'll look at all the things we can glorify God in our everyday lives. And then it just... Whee! And then has chapters i'll just give you a little preview of this have again i have not started this i think i got this actually last year but it goes defining glory and it has it it's going to be like these books they're just many devotionals it's really pretty actually so it has clearing the cobwebs and it has like a like a question, all parts of God's creation, great or small, bring glory to God. Which ones are your favorites? Favorites. If you want, you can comment down below and put in your answer there. Thank you. Then here's this. I'll just show you the full, full on chapter one. And then it gives you the questions. Digging deeper. Ponder and pray, trinkets to treasure, and then it has a prayer request. This is gonna be fun. I wish I could do it with people, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some some people that like, oh, you wanna do this with me? Like, have a little study group. That's amazing. Yes, I shall be thinking. I still have to pray about it, but as I said in the last video, I wanted to do a study group called eternity with Jesus that's amazing I mean I know I know eternity is like I don't I think it might have been a Christian meme but well it was in an, it was in another video and I'm like that's really cool and then I just added with Jesus and like that's that will be a great Bible study group because you have some tay devotional with us women It'll be amazing. Anyways, still gotta pray about it. So now, let's just get into this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna guess because they're they're still wrapped. I did not open them. These are hard to unravel. Okay, so this is Tea Lovers Devotional because I know there's two in here and they're most likely the small ones. This might be 15 minutes alone with God. And then this hardcover is, what would Jesus eat? Okay, let's start. Okay, let me see. <gasps> I did it! Oh my gosh, I didn't need scissors. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so adorable. Tea Lovers Devotional by Emily Barnes. I've I've heard quite a bit about her, and I hear she's pretty good. This is what she looks like in the back. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read the back to you. 
There's something about a cup of tea that helps you open your heart to God. <laughs> True. Cool beans, cool beans. Just like the tea time ritual, these devotions from best-selling author Emily Barnes give you the opportunity to slow down, catch your breath, and relax, relax a little. Add the simple pleasure of a cup of tea and you have the perfect blend for comfort, delight, and inspiration. A blend that helps you talk honestly with God, celebrate the joys of daily living, pray for, pray for and honor friendships, discover how unique gifts are meant to be shared, express hospitality to families and others, recipes, interesting facts and ideas for enjoying tea, compliment Emily's heartwarming words, and create an experience you'll savor time and again. So I'm guessing there are some recipes in here, which I think I've read about, but yeah. Okay, so tea and devotion has the introduction. Okay, so it starts out with this. It does, it does have the verse, so this is like Christian book, and it goes to, then it goes to prayer and heart action, and with the recipes, I think, oh, they're all in the book, oh, they're so, so, so they're throughout the book, awesome, tea for plenty filled strawberries, okay, I'll just, share this one that that's really cool I have never oh my goodness so they give you recipes and then they give you interesting facts and ideas I think this is a really cool book I can't wait to I'll get you another one I can't wait to get into this one with some couple of my friends and just enjoy tea together now, if this doesn't go, if the eternity with Jesus doesn't go, then the other reason why I got this book, because I had a backup, I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll do this with my sister, Lexi. Hey, girl, you're getting a shout out. Hey. That, love you. So, yes, we get into our fancy dresses. Have some tea together and do a little devotion together. <gasps> in our cottage, by the lake, in a forest. Now, I could be living in a fantasy land, but let's just say that would be fun. Eternity with Jesus. Have some tea with Jesus. Oh, high five. Woohoo. Any who's there, let's just open the next bag, shall we? Come on! Oh my gosh, I am strong. It, it's all that carrying that um, scooter around. Cause oh my gosh, that is just—it's heavy. It's twenty. I mean, it's twenty pounds. But you see these new arms? They're—they're—they're they're, they're becoming stronger. Strong. Yes. Okay. Hey, we got this. See? Two lovers devotion, tea lovers devotional. <laughs> yes, I got two. <laughs> Anyways, now let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess I'm an Emily Barnes fan without even knowing it. 15 minutes alone with God. I forgot that this was, <laughs> this was Emily Barnes. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's actually in pretty good condition. There's like, I mean, there's a little, little bents, but that's fine. Better than throwing it in the fire and burning the book. That's just wasting a book. Like seriously, like over 500,000 copies sold. Wow. Just wow. Aww. That's okay. Anyways, what can happen in just 15 minutes a day? Hmm? Strength? encouragement, and growth, for starters. If you long to spend time in prayer and God's word, but need a simple plan of action, 15 minutes alone with God can help. How? Over the years, many women 
have come to know Emily Barnes as a warm encourager in the areas of home management and hospitality. Now she shares from the Bible and her own life about God's grace, family struggles, forgiveness, the challenge of daily living, and other subjects close to heart and home. In 15 minutes or less, you can feel on God's word through an inspirational meditation and scripture reading. Your time alone with God will fill you, will fill you with assurance he cares today and every day. Well, that's just amazing. Ah, the book smell. I'm crazy, hey. Okay, so, we get into here. Two minutes alone. Oh, this is nice. Power of prayer. Prayer is pretty powerful if you have not already known that, but yes, power of prayer just can help, you know? And you get closer to God too, which is a bonus plus. Woohoo! Okay, stand by your God. And then it tells you scripture reading Psalm 116, 1 through 2, key verse Psalm 116 to be. I will call on him as long as I live. And then it goes into what she is saying. And then it's kind of like the other books I tell you about. And then it goes to thoughts for action and then additional scripture reading. And then it has a prayer at the end as well. So that's pretty, pretty cool beans right there, I tell you. Here's another Pixies. I don't know why. I putting I keep putting Z's at the end, so I'm like, <laughs> I tell these these to uh, some of the children I watch, and they're like, up Z's or I want down Z's. <laughs> so cute. And then I keep saying yay Z's too. Yeah. Put Yeezys at the end of everything. Yeezys. No, Z's at the end. It's pretty fun. Oh, or I would also say same Z's, which um, sounds too preppy. I'm just going to use this. Not working. Come on, strength! Take me now! Okay, so this is What Would Jesus Eat? I found this really interesting. I was looking like for... Oh, so it looks a little dirty, but I could just wipe that off. Anyways, I was looking for something like about like, nutrition and all that. I'm like, oh, there must be a Christian way! So I looked it up and then, then I found this book. But let's just see what it says. We live in a world of dietary confusion. New diet books flood the market, each offering the plan for weight loss, balance eating, and attitude adjustment. Each author has expressive credentials and countless testimonies reflecting the program's success. But the dizzying and area of choices results in just one thing. A day's reader, you is, who is still gaining weight and struggling with food issues. That's interesting, okay. Okay, let me just go into here. Ah, with biblical and medical insight. I'll just, I'll just show you this. So there's that. You can pause and read that. Um, let's just go in here. Has the context. Serious question, what you eat. I mean, if you read the Bible, you should probably figure it out. But, so here's what chapter one looks like. And this book was originally $22 and I got it for free. That's just insane. <laughs> Savings. 
So they did have, after buying this book, then I realized, oh, they had a cookbook. So I could have just used the cookbook, but they were out of stock. I'm like, dang, well, I'll get inside with this. The ultimate program of eating well, feeling great and living longer. Who knew? But yeah, I'm pretty sure Jesus's diet was the Mediterranean diet, which is really close to the French diet. I've actually been looking up like, like which diets like in the countries like happen. Cause I know everyone is really different. And like this country is way different from everyone else's. And with France, their portion sizes are way smaller than America's and they mostly do the Mediterranean diet, but they also have like smaller portions and just a lot of, they cook a lot of healthy foods without going out to places, which America usually does. But yeah, I, I find it quite interesting of what other people eat, which is kind of weird, but yeah. So anyways, I hope you like this little thrift books haul. And if you have any questions regarding thrift books or where to find really good books at a really small price where you don't have to go to Barnes and Nobles. Sorry, I'm putting you, I'm putting you under the bus here, Barnes and Nobles. I love it. Just I won't spend anything there because it's expensive. Like their books are what, $30 sometimes? Like the average is like 10 to let's just say 30 to $40. I'm like, I'm not spending any money on the $40 book. Uh-uh. I mean, I did spend money on a purse that was $19, which I would never do, but yeah. Um, so yes, I know probably you can find your local thrift stores and mainly thrift stores or thrift books is the way to go if you want something very inexpensive. So yes, I hope you love this little thrift books haul. If you did, please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button so you can get notified. Well, hit that notification bell so then you can get notified of whenever I post another video because I don't post weekly. I post whenever I can, so sorry in advance for if you're looking forward for the next video. So anyways, love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.